are at Club Wyndham in Seaverville, Tennessee. So let me show y'all. We got the two bedroom presidential suite. Let's take a look. This place, one second, we walked in and we were blown away with how massive this place is. We usually stay in cabins, so this was a shocker. Um, all right, can you show me your room, Jed? Look at this, y'all got a two bedroom queen. I believe these are queens. An alarm clock. All right, Nomi, show me your view. What do you got out there? A golf course and look at that lake. Look, it's pretty. I see. Look at all those shelves right there. I see that. All right, I'm gonna go this way. There's closets, no, TVs, no, this bathroom. Woo! Hello, there I am. Boop. Show, right. I need to show you something over here. In a second, let me show them your bathroom. Big, 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 big shower. Oh, there we go. Go this way. Living space with a big TV and I'm guessing gas. Electric fireplace. What is this? Hmm. I'll have to look at that. It's not warm right now. All right. Beautiful, large, open concept kitchen. Big six people table. Big, nice fridge. Everything's updated, which is really cool. Let's go over here, then we'll go outside. Hey! <laughs> Hello. King size bed this is our bedroom. I've yet to unpack yet, but seriously, the view is beautiful out these. All right, and then this is our bathroom. Look at this tub. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Like, right, oh. This stuff, shower, bath, closets. Right, let's go outside. Check-in was super easy. It was curbside check-in. So we just, literally a lady came out and, uh, oh, hello. How do you unlock the back door? Oh, it's locked. Duh, because we have kids. Okay, big, this is a big balcony. Ooh, there's like a fire pit area down there. Fun. It's chilly, not suit too bad. It's probably 45 degrees, 50 degrees. Can I? Yeah, come on, bubs. People golfing over there. We're not golfers, but isn't this cool? Are y'all so excited? There's a water indoor water park on property that we are so excited about to go try. All right, guys, say see you later. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thanks for watching, though. <laughs> say bye. Nomi, say bye. Bye. Good name is her. <laughs> Okay guys, so I did grocery pickup from our local Kroger, um, and then this is the indoor water park that is on site, Club Wyndham and also Wilderness Resort. Um, it's two separate things, but you get free access to the water park, which is what we did every single day, sometimes twice a day. Totally worth it. The kids absolutely loved it, and so did we. <laughs> on the island there's a bunch of different shops to go to um they actually even have like rides and a ferris wheel that are extra money but there's a lot of things that are kind of fun to look at that are free and this is the view when we were leaving the island Okay, we went to Three Bears General Store, and honestly, I think it's the only store you need to go to in Pigeon Forge. It was awesome. Say hello. 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 Say hello. 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 All right.
you, precious? Hi. What's it say? Paco? 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 Okay guys, so it's a couple months after our vacation, but I wanted to share a couple tips that I did not get in the video. I did not video and take many pictures during the trip just because I was enjoying myself. So I wanted to say like we did this trip for under a thousand dollars. It was four nights, five day trip and it was amazing. Um, that place we stayed in, we got such an amazing deal and I totally recommend trying to find someone who has a timeshare that you can rent from. Um, we stayed for $435. That was it, like flat rate, like no taxes on top of that or anything. That's much. That included the water park, y'all. So that, that was amazing, you know? And that's really all we did. So we bought um, groceries at the grocery store. We ate out maybe twice. And honestly, it was just perfect. Like. We could stay on property. It took us like three minutes to walk to the um, water park, but there was also a shuttle on site. So if we were like, it was too cold or something outside, it could take us. So, so worth it. Pigeon Forge has so much stuff that you can do. I mean, there's tons of stuff, but it's all very expensive. So my goal behind this trip was let's just do this spontaneous trip and not spend a lot of money. So... Um, yeah, we, that's why we didn't do any of the shows or anything. My plan was just stay on property, go to the water park. The water park also has so much more than the pictures that I even have on there. I just didn't get to, um, record or take pictures of it, but so much fun stuff.